Today, let's fix our issue with the following. Watch when I run our player seeking missile. If our player seeking missile starts uh, with a completely right facing vector, which would be um, 1, 0, and our player, the vector from the missile to our player, is in the opposite, exact opposite direction, then the cross product that we get since we're doing this two-dimensional cross product that we get will be zero and remember we're using this Z component of the cross product to indicate how much sort of actually how much and in which direction we should rotate the missile towards our target so we're gonna need to fix a few things because if you uh, again if you look here so we're here and the missile is exactly in the same same Y location that we were in, and then it's moving the X of uh, movement vector is exactly opposite of where we are from it. And the reason that it was working before, if you remember, is because uh, we were I was inadvertently taking a point that wasn't on the center of those of these sprites and instead doing something that was offset inadvertently I didn't mean to do it it was a bug but it ended up working correctly didn't it sort of bugs are bugs so but first I want to concatenate some of this information um, let's do a um, sort of let's print some stuff so let's print the two target vector and that will be this stuff. We're gonna we're gonna just kind of print it all at once, and then we'll print um, missile direction, and then we'll do that. And instead of a space, we'll do a comma. And let's see what that. Does. I've got it on debug already. I'll drag that over here. So now we have, and you can see the two target, we have a minus one zero, and I need to move that so that we can. Oh, look, it's mididle. Mid, middle. Missile. Missile direction. Not that it matters, it's just a debug statement. Missile direction. So here we go. So you see. We're exactly minus one, so we're 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 no difference in the x direction from to the target from from our missile. Our missile direction is the same in the y direction, and it's just opposite in the x direction. So we need to give the missile a nudge whenever it's whenever our y positions match like this, and um, our x positions are com basically the opposite of one another. And this. You know, this is sort of a corner case, I guess you could say. Um, and so we could also um, bring our test over here and we could say, we could do the same thing. So if we put our player over here at 400 and then we told our missile to have uh, a 180 degree, so go to the left, we're still going to get the same thing. It's going to look like this. So you see this minus e to the minus 16, so that's basically zero, <laughs> you know. Um, and so we're, it's doing exactly the same thing. So let's do the following. Let's check and see. So here's where we get that cross product. And so then let's say if the cross product, the z component, is let's say less than 0.05. So really small, we could do zero zero five. I don't know. Um, and the missile to target dot x is basically equal to negative of the missile direction. In other words, if it's going exactly the same, the opposite direction, then let's set the uh, z component. Let's just set it to ten and see if that helps us out. So, you know, the Z could be really, really tiny. So if it's really, really tiny, then we're never going to turn. So we're gonna, basically we're giving it a nudge when we know that the, miss, the missile direction 
and the missile to target X is less. And honestly, I was just thinking about just occurred to me this probably happens in the y direction too which we can check but let's finish this thing okay so now he's beginning to turn so that looks like that works right let's make sure that it works from the other direction so in here we'll just remove all that stuff and we'll put the player back where he was so let's see if he turns this time and he does so i, th I think that feels pretty good i believe that should help us to uh, avert that particular thing. Now let's see about a rotation so that so the play so the missile is now going will be going um, straight. So let's see. We need X. So we're starting. No, no, no. I want the. Let's have the missile go. Be at three hundred. And it should be going. See that? Let's turn off this update just for a minute. I just want to see where the missile is placed. Or we'll just do this. We'll just comment this out. Okay, sorry about that. It's actually pi over 2, of course, 90 degrees. So then we should have that. And let's move our player up a little bit so that we can actually see our missile. And we'll put our missile at, I don't want to say 250. Let's put it at 200. Let's check this real quick. Yeah, so now he's going exactly the opposite. So we'll have the same thing happen, but it'll be on the Y axis. And look at this. I need to get rid of that print statement, don't I? That was from some, uh, la I mean, debugging last time, I believe. That's not where I want to do it. Let's uh, let's do that real quick. Um, well, that's the that's the test stuff. We don't need any of that. Main menu. We want to be in here, right here. So we'll just get rid of that, so we don't see those prints anymore. All right, so let's uncomment this and let's see if the missile correctly turns. It probably won't. Yeah, because we have the same issue, but this time it's our um it's our y's that are opposite. See that? So all we need to do is basically the same thing that we did for uh the x is whenever the x's are the same. So we can say We'll add some parentheses so that basically it's if this missile X, if they're opposite or the Y's are opposite, then we'll add this nudging factor to nudge it so that it can start heading in that direction. Let's see if that, yep, so that works. Good. Let's put the just for fun and safety, which we like to be safe around here. Safety is number one priority. So let's, oh, and let's point the missile up. And he is coming back down. And I could show you all this, but it's. So yeah, that's looking right. So basically now we have this, if, if, we're tra if our X or Y is in the completely opposite direction, then we're gonna get we're going to get a probably going to have a zero or close to zero on the Z component. So we don't want that to happen. And uh, with this additional if statement, we can fix that. I'm going to leave this like this, except this was this was 350, wasn't it? I'm just going to yeah. Okay, and then if I Bring him down, bring him down, bring him down. Let's do this real quick. So 350, let's put our guy at 450. So he should really have a zero. Yeah, basically right at him. Okay, great. That fixes the issue with the missile if we have uh, any of these basically four corner cases where our cross, our three-dimensional cross product is zero. 
So now we're, and again, we're just using that Z component of the cross product to just indicate if and how much and which direction we should rotate. So it's sort of the strength of rotation from, a, from zero to one, and then the sign we use to tell, kind of tell which way to rotate. Um, so cool. And I'm going to, I will leave this in. We'll leave this in too. And with that, I think we're going we're gonna to sign off, and we're going to sign off with a better missile. Next time, you know, we, next time we need to uh, address this elephant in the room, which are these, this non-axis aligned bounding box collision, which we might, uh, we may end up using the Minkowski, the Minkowski sums which is a very interesting uh, way to do things. Uh, so with that, I'll see you next time.